My name is Salima Hashmi. I'm an artist, an art educationist, a curator, a writer on art. And um, I live in Lahore, in Pakistan. And uh, this is one of the few places where one can come across the work of um, artists like Shiva Chachi, because we no longer are able to carry our work across borders and make ourselves part of a joint conversation or dialogue. And this particular work, it has meant so much to me because it this she's we say in Urdu Kaleja Chalni Karni. It's really, you know, somebody said that in Urdu poetry, the heart is not the seat of the deepest emotions, it is the liver. You know, it's the kaleja. And that's what it does to you. It brings home to you what is the suffering. It's the suffering of human beings. And that becomes part of us. We're not separate from it. So that is what art means. It means one think. It means emotionally deepens and it's profound. And it, it gives you sometimes courage to live. When we were talking about this show, what I had envisioned, because as a student of art history, something I'd really seen and followed Shiva's work were at so many levels that her practice actually evolves and she engages. So I was very keen that it wasn't just one body of work or just um, showing her as an, art, um, as an activist. I wanted to get the other realms of Shiva's practice involved. And that's how we thought we'd cover seminal bodies of her work, which kind of went from activism to uh, eco-feminism to at so many levels that you kind of um, engage. So that's what we were looking at. So it really becomes a selection uh, from my practice over quite a span of years. But each work also speaks of a particular vocabulary that I have worked with, so the animated light box, mm -hmm. there are a large number of works around that. And here we have one triptych, but it kind of indicates the practice as well as the kind of concerns and inquiries that inform my work. That, that's an example. I really do think so. This, this site, uh, both Dubai and the Al Sarkar hub have been very, very interesting in terms of the range of people coming in. Um, Sasha has been nurturing me with stories of all the different kinds of people, their responses, uh, That because she's been here throughout. I came and went and I've returned again. So I think that has been actually very important because showing work has opened up other layers of meaning that go way beyond the subcontinent. Yes, I support that, I think definitely. And I think what's really been engaging with this exhibition is that from different walks of life, I've had students, I've had women, I've had men. Um, what's really interesting, especially with the Ghana's race, that particular work, we've had so much feedback from different people and how they've engaged and it's not um, it's not just about Kashmir it becomes about Iraq it becomes about Iran it becomes about Israel it becomes at so many levels that work has worked out you know in terms of so people's, people's yeah. engagement people's responses to it and some of them are so profound that you know it kind of resonates at so many levels than just Kashmir you know and I think that's been something which has been overwhelming as well.